Uh, tidbit. What? Morsel. Kukwa. Just fun words to say. Booby. You're dumb. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction theory. It's Corbin. Ricardo Montalban. It's so Ricardo Montalban. Yes. It's so good. Do you know who Ricardo Montalban is? I think we're so sad. Patreon to follow my official Twitter account. I do. Today, uh, we are uh, reacting to something from the new uh, Chipak with the Pika. The Pika. Uh, coming out. Pika Patagon. Yes. I think it's a little Pika Pika behind Pika the scenes. Really? Of her getting into character, talking okay. about the character a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, with no spoilers. Yeah, obviously. It's, yeah, it's, it, it's, it was it's, put it's, out by the studio. There so, you go. Uh, and it comes out the 10th. We are very excited about this. I'm looking I'm forward to very this much performance. So. Um, but yes, uh, and it was not subbed, so our subbers subbed it. Thank you Thank so you, much. subbing subbers and, and subbed you, to, to subs. And as you guys know, they are the best subbers ever. In the history of subbing. That's true. It is true. Substitute teachers. Here we go. At the one level, we are fighting for feminism and women's rights, and at another level, uh, women are put on a pedestal where their beauty is at a premium. Great makeup. Which is why taking away the beauty, attacking her with acid, has become a weapon of choice. And it's time we challenge them what Mudikai is. When I met these girls, the first step is when they see themselves in the mirror and the person looking back at them doesn't look like what they used to, but eventually their spirit takes over and what they're looking like in the mirror doesn't matter anymore. What inspires me about them is their spirit. They've chosen to not be victims. They've chosen to be victorious. So we actually have four survivors who are in the film and it's amazing to see them perform in front of the camera with no inhibitions whatsoever. She's real as For me that memory was fun, it was emotional, liberating. It was a revelation to see how comfortable and confident they were. Of course, not you. I never definitely got the lift. Many said, "Oh, Jai, For the longest time, these girls were hesitant to be out in the open with their faces uncovered. जैसे ही मैंने face open किया था, मुझे ऐसा लगता है वहीं से मेरी ज़िंदगी की एक शुरुआत हुई थी. Lakshmi played a very significant part during her time in the NGO with the other survivors. She has to move forward, she has to fill her dreams, and the biggest thing is that she wants to open her face. I want to be able to see her face in the face. For me, 2.0 is really how we start looking at them and the way we start treating them equally and giving them equal opportunities. And I'm really proud that they rightfully have come out in the open. They deserve as much dignity and respect as you and I deserve. For me, Mutikai 2.0 is the fact that they can look at themselves in the mirror and smile at the reflection that's staring back at them without a blink of hesitation. Wow, that was great. That was phenomenal. Yeah. That uh, makes me even more.
more excited to see the film. Yeah. Um, and it's quite great that, and it's one of those scenarios where you absolutely should use the acid attack survivors in your film. Oh, you uh, had to. You, you, you had to. Ah, sorry, something's uh, something's playing. Yeah, like had to. Yeah, like <laughs> it, it's a symbol of empowerment and stuff that you just because you think you can hurt us, you you can't actually hurt us. Like exactly. It's, it's, it's it's a beautiful message to send, and it's uh, I think it's amazing that these these women are that strong mm -hmm. uh, in order to just because um, it, it it annoys me when people say that you know like they're for some reason blaming these people that for their face uh, being uh, when they got acid thrown on them mm -hmm. and what happened to their face. And now they think they shouldn't be able to show their face because it makes other people yeah, uncomfortable. It's, it's the same. Like, Don't it, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the exact same stupidity of these, I won't call them men, mm -hmm. these males who say that women get raped because of the clothes they wear, what they mm -hmm. look like. Yeah. No, you pig. Mm -hmm. That's because you can't control yourself. Mm -hmm. You. It, mm -hmm. Yeah. And no, it, it should be. And, and parents, you should have enough understanding and compassion and empathy that if somebody, whoever it would be, anybody who doesn't fit into what we call normal, somebody who has their face burned with acid, mm -hmm. somebody who's considered a little person, anybody with some kind of a disability and handicap with their arm missing in mm -hmm. some way, it's up to parents to allow their kids to express their shock or whatever it may be and parent them through the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, sadly, there's a lot of parents out there who are transcendently stupid and they care they, about what people will think. Exactly. Them, how do you, whatever. how do you in your right freaking mind tell a girl who was a victim of an acid burn to hide your face because society is going to be repulsed by it? Where did, what planet did you come from? Why, Go back. Why are we not repulsed by the acid? people not yeah and that, not blaming the people that yeah, have nothing to do with it that's the other thing i've said it before that just astonishes me that we live <clears> in a world <throat> that a human being can be so freaking depraved and evil that they could throw acid on a girl i don't care what she did yeah i don't care what she did nope uh it's just it's unconscionable and i love that a woman who's renowned for being considered one of the most beautiful women in the world mm -hmm. is going to be the face of this girl Yep. And I, I would love to hear Topeka. I guarantee this was probably a life-changing film for her to do. Um, I guarantee that at the end of the day, when she had to take makeup off, it was emotional for her because those girls can't take the makeup off. You know, yeah. uh, I, I would really love to hear more about. And I, I have a, I have a really strong feeling this is going to be one of Topeka's finest yeah. performances. I'm, I'm really looking forward to. It. I'm glad that the. I don't know if we've seen the the, the woman at the helm. Uh, yeah, uh, if we have, I'm not remembering her, so forgive uh, me if we're not giving her the respect she deserves. The uh, the director, mm -hmm. but I'm glad it's a female. Like I we, am I too. Like we said it before. Um, There's some films that have a poignancy because of who's directing it. Example. There's a poignancy and a touch to Schindler's List because Sp Steven Spielberg is a Jew mm -hmm. and has family that died in the Holocaust. So he's telling it from a certain perspective that in the same way, I think any story where it affected you as a person, you'd be able to bring a level of nuance to it and an empathy that nobody else could bring. It's not that someone couldn't make a good film about this who was male, but I really think there's an empathy that's going to come to the film that otherwise wouldn't be there because it has a female director. This is the director of uh, Razzie. Ah, so another great film to tell from a woman's perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. And she also directed Televar with Irfan that we've uh, reacted to. It's written and produced and composed by Vishal mm. uh, Bardwash, but it's the one starring Irfan Khan. We saw the yeah. trailer a while yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. And uh, I think we heard really good things about it. So that's exciting that she has the uh, reputation of making really good films. Mm -hmm. um, and and we're yeah. great people. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really film. excited. January. 10th, I believe, is when it comes out, and yeah. um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be there. So. <laughs>